Let's get to those top picks. Qantas Services, PWR in New York. What do they do, Brendan? Why do you like them? All right, well, I've got the three top picks. The, the theme is going to be power, power, and power. So Qantas Services, engineering firm. We don't actually, at this moment in time, own it in the portfolios, but it's high up on our watch list, which is not to say we're going to buy it tomorrow, but it's one that we're, we have added and we may look to add again. They're a, an engineering firm that, uh, among other things, does the, um, the, the charging stations uh, mm -hmm. for, for cars. Uh, we just think that as a, like electric cars are going to be a thing. Whether you like it, hate it, would rather have an 18-cylinder gas guzzling Corvette or a Tesla, these electric cars are going to be an increasing thing. So as a way of playing that business, when you've got Rivian and Tesla and Neo and all these ones going up and down, it makes more sense to us mm -hmm. to own the, the picks and shovels part of this business where um, my analogy is I mean, rather than trying to find gold in the Yukon, just sell the, the picks and shovels to the mm -hmm. miners to make out all right. So too with this, where there, there is going to be an increasing demand for power and that last mile of power. I mean, we've got big hydroelectric, we're not building any more nuclear and goodness knows um, when we're going to find uh, or be allowed to do more in terms of fossil fuels. But that last mile, it's like a it's like the cable companies were some years ago where getting um, uh, broadband to the house was the thing. So too with, uh, with Quanta, you've got the uh, delivering the power to the consumer because from having you know, generated a big level, what we need is to be able to get it to the local level because the biggest, biggest knock against electric cars is there's no place to charge them. Well, Quanta is going to help fix that. So you don't own it, yes, but uh, you're sniffing around I it. Yeah, have owned it, don't own it at the moment. It's, it's one that we're really looking at get, getting back into. Okay, your next idea is a Canadian electricity provider, Capital Power. Most boringest business in the world. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, most of the ideas we actually put on this, uh, this show are just boring. It's not as boring as gravel, but um, again, increasing demand for power. Capital Power, though, in specific, has an advantage over its competitors uh, due to its uh, financing business, it's while it sold some of its power forward at one rate, it's actually locked in, I believe, about 90% of its natural gas costs. And natural gas is, uh, if not the biggest, I think the biggest actually component of uh, power generation in terms of costs. It's locked in, it's, um, uh, it's a natural gas cost, about 90% of that now. So it's insulated from, from rising energy costs as but even as it's able to sell its power at increasingly high rates. So there are, um, the, the demand for power in North America is simply not going to go down. And we just think that this is the best Canadian story for playing that. And finally, Murphy USA, a fuel oil supplier. Yeah, think of it as Alimentant Couchetard in America. Hmm. Uh, and people have seen how well Couchetard has done here. Um, Murphy Oil is, uh, sorry, Murphy USA is getting more into the con the uh, convenience store uh, chains uh, across America, and that is a, a incredibly fragmented business, and I, they're in the process of consolidating that. So we see that as a, a growth area similar to what uh, Alimentant Gustard was able to do here. Yeah, it's fa it is fast. What about Alimentation, uh, Brandon? Is that a stock that you've been in lately? In our Canadian Value Momentum Fund, uh, I mean, it's down with everything else, but uh, I guess momentum at this, at this day and age counts as not being down nearly as much as everybody else. So, yes, it's one that we still own. And what is your attitude generally to retail stocks in Canada? I know Alimentation's own, well, it's a Staples retailer, but are you in the likes of Canadian Tire and Loblaws? Uh, no and no, but... You know, ask my attitude. Yes, retail in general is going to continue to have a very hard time. I, I don't think that people are, notwithstanding my comments about uh, about shopping malls, I really don't think people are going to swarm back to the stores. But people have counted the big Canadian brands like Canadian Tire out before, and Canadian Tire has this remarkable ability to reinvent itself. Mm. Uh, you know, 25, 30 years ago, when the big boxes were coming, the Americans were coming, the Americans were coming, hmm. whether it's uh, 
um, Walmart or uh, Home Depot, and Canadian Tire dropped to its 87 crash levels because you know it was over for Canadian Tire. So that stock in particular, while under pressure now from this uh, Amazon and other mm -hmm. uh, online retailers, I think Canadian Tire may be able to reinvent itself again. So that one in specific, while down, I shouldn't be counted out.